Hey everyone, how's it going? Edit here again. In today's video, we're going to be looking at something quite odd. I have with me here Dan. Hello. Dan, slightly unrelated, have you seen the new PlayStation Classic? Uh, I've, I've heard it's a little bit iffy. Have you got one? No. Ah. Well, I've got you something just slightly better. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Oh boy. <laughs> so, in today's video, we're going to be looking at the better version of the PlayStation 1 Classic. Are you excited? I'm terrified. <laughs> Right, so, um, this is going to be quite interesting, because what this actually is, as we can already see, is a Famicom. So I've asked you to bring a couple of your Famicom cartridges Hello. here. And, uh, yeah, I mean, let's just quickly evaluate what we can see on the box. So, we've got a skater. Not sure why there's a skater. Uh, there's going to be some good skate games in do there, 100%. Or, do you think they're trying to kind of appeal to some sort of a market and they've thought that in order to do that they'll just directly slap on the box who they're trying to appeal to. I mean, I'm convinced. I think this was about £20 if I remember correctly and then I scrolled a bit further down and I saw one for like a tenner but this person shipped it like immediately so um, yeah, it's arrived. The box is proper destroyed although not really a big deal. We'll go ahead and take it out here. Oh wow. <laughs> right. Now, as you can quite clearly see, it looks awful. I mean, he's got webbed hand, which is, uh, I think, quite a rare medical condition. So there's the PlayStation 1 Classic. Would you like to just feel how, how heavy that and quality that feels? Oh, it, it's like it lifts up with you. <laughs> it's like it's got a balloon attached. Yeah, and um, here's two controllers which look, I mean, fantastic. Oh, yeah. The buttons, to be honest with you, don't actually feel that bad. I mean, they don't feel good. They've got some spring on them. They don't feel good, but they don't feel bad. The start and select feel great. But they don't feel, um, they definitely don't feel like your, your, your normal PlayStation quality. So we'll set that to the side. We've got a power brick. Which is short, less than a meter. <laughs> <laughs> we have a gun. Now I imagine this is for duck hunt because it actually has duck hunt built in here on this Famicom cartridge. So that's quite cool. Doesn't feel too bad. I think that's actually cooler than the NES one. Yeah. Does it? That's not the same connector, is it? I uh, no. No, I don't no, think it's like it an Atari style. Yeah, thing. yeah. And then we've also got uh, a standard AV cable. Although, probably the most important thing, we have a set of instructions. To reset the game to the beginning, press the reset button, which is spelt with a B-Y-T-T-O-N, which I think is actually how you spell it. On the console, the title screen with a capitalized T will then appar. <laughs> Note, never attempt to remove a cartridge from the console while the power is switched on. So you've got the push button, reset button, power switch, control port 1 and A, joystick, laser gun. That sounds a lot Oof. better than... Um, what was it called in the nose? The ray? No, what was it called in the nose? A uh, light gun. Light gun. Um, select button, start button, directional button. So yeah, that's the instructions. Okay, so we have uh, the Famicom cartridge here. It looks like it's a 19 in 1 cartridge, which is not bad. It's got no weight to it at all. Although these... Oh no, they, they do. Yeah, no, they have. They have got weight to them. So that's awful. Um, the console itself, I haven't got a PlayStation 1 Classic, um, or PlayStation 1 with me, the slim version, but from what I remember, it's probably not too dissimilar in size. That definitely looks like a normal disc. Maybe it's yeah. a little bit smaller. But um, yeah, it's got a really awful texture to it. It's kind of like some sort of a rubberized texture. In fact, the this is rubberized, which is kind of disgusting. There's like a weird <laughs> stain on his hat. Um, but yeah, okay, what I think we'll do is we'll plug it in and uh, we'll see what the games are like. Okay, so we've got everything plugged in. Um, now, it doesn't look too bad, to be honest with you. I kind of like how they've... Oh, I kind of like how they've somewhat kept it original and actually put a little door on here. And it does actually have 
a spring in it, which isn't too bad, I don't think. Um, what are your thoughts so far, Dan? It looks like a high quality console. I've got it hooked up into my television. Unfortunately, this is basically the best setup I can get for now. So hopefully you're not gonna mind, but we'll have to wait and see in the comments after this. And it doesn't look too bad. There's um, the screen flicker that you're seeing on the, uh, the video isn't actually because of the CRT screen. That's just the refresh rate of the camera and the screen together not working completely in sync. Now, we did notice this just while plugging this in before. Um, and I'm not entirely sure what is happening here. Maybe some tech wizards will know in the comment section below. But if I plug the controller in and turn it on, we get a monster amount of lines on the screens. It does not make a lot of sense. Do you want to try Super Mario first? Uh, yeah, yeah, what are we, uh, what button are we? Starting, selecting, uh, I'm start. not sure. Did you start two player? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, two player on there original is, uh, when I die, you take over. Yeah. So the screen, I don't see, I don't understand. When we didn't have the um, controllers plugged in, the screen looked absolutely fine. So for whatever reason, these controllers are maybe short circuiting the output. Maybe it's a grounding issue and that there's some sort of ground problem going on with here. But I can promise you one thing, I will not be doing a let's refurb on this. Right, do you want to um, die so we can try out a different game? I really want to try out Duck Hunt with you. Um, that's for sure. So let's go ahead and do that one. You're doing really well here, Dan, but I'm going uh, oh, to trying to die. end your session. Right, so let's try um, Duck Hunt using the light ray included and see what happens here. Oh, you're missing ducks. No, I don't, oh, am I? So this works very, very well. It's mainly because of the, uh, the CRT screen, though, because, um, because the CRT screen... I don't know how it does it. I think it reads if there's a white square, if you're pointing at the white yeah. square. You'll see for a second it goes like yeah. dark. Yeah. So that's quite well. It works quite well, doesn't it? Yeah. I don't think this would work on an LCD TV though, would it? Uh, no, not on newer TVs. No, no, I don't think it does. An LED TV or LCD, whatever. Okay, so let's try um, some of your games then. So Dan very kindly brought a couple of his um, Famicom games over here with him. Oh, wow, that looks pretty good. Let's try this then. So Famicom is obviously the um, Japanese Nintendo Entertainment System equivalent. It's the Famicom Computer System, I think is what it was actually officially called. Oh no. These games are my favourite. What's favorite. your favourite Tetris game? Yeah, let's try play one that's actually better, Dan. <laughs> I mean, it, it works, like, better than some of the other things that we've seen before. And the emulation... Wait. Oh, maybe I would need to use uh -huh. this. And the emulation is, is like flawless, right? I mean, it's hardware emulation. It's not like software emulation. Mm -hmm. But it works really, really well. It's just, it's just a shame what it, that whatever's going on with that output. Although that might just be my system being broken. I'm not even sure what this video is to be honest with you. If it's a review <laughs> or if it's a mid tape, but I just thought my channel needed a few more family clones on it. So, can we try Super Mario Bros. Three? Yes, of course. We can. Or should we try? Oh my god, that was 5,000 yen. That's Zelda 1. Oh wow, okay. Is that quite an expensive one then? Uh, yeah. So let's try Super Mario World 3. It's a big shame that whatever's going on with the um, the lines on the screen, whatever that is, it, it sucks because without it, it looks like gorgeous. Yeah, it looks really good. It looks really, really good. Yeah, it plays a lot, a lot slower. Is this the accurate speed then, you think? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Are you sure? I think so. The music sounds slow, but I don't know if I'm just like, this is like placebo to me now. To be honest with you guys, it's going to be very, very hard oh, for this it's to got be... got a save file. It has got a save file. Kill mode? <laughs> well, that looks so good. It's got quite a weird... Um, it, it's, it looks really, really good. It's a lot better in person. It's a massive shame for that buzz because without that, it looks gorgeous. And this yeah. is actually functioning really, really perfectly. So whatever that um, that buzz is, it's massively, massively letting it down. It's a family climb, so we're not going to get anything like absolutely excellent out of it, but it's definitely something quite interesting. It's more so just a bit of a joke because obviously the new PlayStation Classic has come out. And this is the PlayStation Classic that nobody actually wanted at all. Okay, well, I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Dan, thank you very much for coming on the show. No problem. As always, have you bought my merch yet? Uh, sure.
Do you know where to buy it from? Websites. The Retro Future dot merch for all which i'll leave it in the description below i really hope you guys have all enjoyed this video by the way we didn't mention there's some crazy ergonomic stuff going on on the grip at the bottom of the controller so that's a bit odd um if you would like to buy one of these you probably need to rethink your life let me know what you think in the comment section below dan thanks again and i'll catch you in the next video peace